Now in Boston 25, a cold-blooded killer. Guilty of murder in the second degree. Guilty of an unthinkable crime. The verdict was a travesty of justice. We don't take any joy here. An innocent baby girl murdered. Such a beautiful little baby. She was well behaved. And thrown away like trash. It was a real Michael McCarthy, a sick psychopath. He was got what he deserved. Tonight, justice for Bella Vaughn. Just two years and one day after her body was found on Deer Island, Bella Bond's killer has been convicted of murder. Good evening, I'm Mark Ockerblum. I'm Elizabeth Hopkins. Vanessa Welch has the night off. Bella Bond's death haunted our area for 85 days. She was a little girl with no name. She was only known as Baby Doe. Tonight, prosecutors say her killer, Michael McCarthy, has been brought to justice. And tonight, we have team coverage of this case, beginning with our Crystal Haynes, who spoke exclusively with a juror. Crystal? Well, the prosecution's case rested heavily on the testimony of Rochelle Bond, Bella Bond's mother. And they got that in exchange for a plea deal that allows her to walk free as early as tomorrow. That bothered a lot of people, including this juror I spoke to who say he just had to speak out. I think people do want justice because, you know, a little girl was murdered. Heartbreaking to hear and tougher to decide. Today, a jury found Michael McCarthy guilty of the second degree murder of two year old Bella Bond. But a juror I spoke to, who wasn't part of the final 12 who convicted McCarthy, says no one in that jury box could ever know who killed her for sure. He um, didn't want to be identified, and we modified his voice. I think it was very difficult to determine who actually killed Bella. And I think, um, Having the option of the lesser charges made the decision for the jury um, a little easier to reach a verdict. He says an unprecedented 11th hour judge's instruction after closing arguments opened the door for this conviction. Who do you think killed Bella Bond? I, I don't really know. Do you think that that made it harder too, especially given the lack of physical evidence connecting McCarthy to this crime? I do. But Suffolk County District Attorney Dan Conley said witness testimony, including Bella's mother, Rochelle Bonds, was enough for this conviction. Charged with accessory to murder and larceny for what amounts to welfare fraud, Bonds struck a very controversial plea deal that allows her to walk free on probation as soon as tomorrow. And that doesn't sit well with this juror. Did it feel like you all wanted someone to be held accountable? Well, yes. I mean, I think. I think most people would think that the defendant and Rochelle were involved in the Bella. Um, to what degree each of them were involved is debatable and hard to prove. And I think the plea deal that she got, I think, was too lenient. And again, Rochelle Bond's uh, sentencing hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. McCarthy's sentencing hearing is on Wednesday. Reporting here in Boston, I'm Crystal Haynes, Boston 25 News.